Hello, hi, what's up? Good morning. Yesterday I broke my glasses. Actually, I, well, my mom broke it at first and then I broke it a couple of times. Now the glue won't stick properly. Like, see? It's not aligned at all. So, it's kind of, it's a mess. I have not been taking care of my body properly for a few weeks now. I'm not proud of it. You must take care of your body, people. It's the most important thing you'll ever have. I'm kind of regretting consuming all of this shit because now I feel like I am the shit. No, not the shit. I am shit. And quite frankly, if I feel like shit, on the inside. I can't feel like shit on the outside too. So I need to figure this thing out. The chickens agree. I make chamomile tea by the way. I like my tea with honey. I used to drink a lot of coffee. Like I would drink coffee in the morning, coffee after lunch. Clara let me speak. Thank you. And then Coffee before dinner. Like, uh, yeah, three times a day. Oh, and coffee right during my study sessions. Wait, someone's here. <laughs> Hi, hello, what's up? I'm a little bit tanner, if you may have noticed. Because the last time I left this couch, the last time I talked to you, I actually met my cousin and my cousin then told me that a friend of ours is back in the island and we went on a scuba diving adventure together with friends and family it was amazing because I haven't been underwater for months now and I missed it I forgot how I missed it how I loved it and just seeing how much the ocean changed for the better was just so heartwarming we went on two dives well i went on two dives the our friend mr daniel campo a world-renowned photographer you may check him out and you may see some of his photos from our dives in the montage after but for now let me tell you about where we went so the first dive i went to it's not the first dive danny went the first dive I went to is the Rock East dive. Rock East is at the sound of the island. Q map here. I don't know if I'm right because I'm terrible with directions, but I think it's in the south tip of the island. And it's in the southeastern border. You have so it's uh, am I making sense? We drop there. You have to do a negative entry because when you drop into the ocean in Rock East, cliff agad yung makikita mo. You can see. Let me show you the montage first so you can, you know, feel the vibe. Cute.
episode actually it's rock east and rock west but the first part where you see us descending that's rock east so gets you now like the cliff vibes you descend on a cliff slowly slowly lang wag naman yung like super fast just slowly then from there you just swim right beside the cliff maybe look for some eels some lionfishes some snakes nudie branches i once saw a spanish dancer there well not this spanish dancer this spanish dancer also a bunch of fishes like tuna there's a lot of fishes in rock point it's area where juvenile fishes also swim a lot because the reefs there so the dive basically starts in rock east and you swim just beside the cliff and then to rock west where you slowly ascend and then be met by this gorgeous garden of coral reefs it's i just can't describe into words how magnificent rock west is and how scared and terrified i am whenever i dive there because when I go there, I always feel like, you know, when you go to the supermarket and you're in the area where there's tons of glass and you just walk stiffly because you might break something. That's how I feel when I drive. That's how I feel when I dive in Rock West. I just feel so petrified for the good and for the bad. Because one, I'm petrified because it's so fucking beautiful. And two, I'm petrified because I'm afraid I might break something. Because the coral reefs are very fragile, you guys. Your, the things in your BCD, your fins, and your hands, if you flung your hands like this, you might break something and tiny inches of corals grow for years. So be careful when you dive. And rock west especially if it's low tide because i think when we went there it's low tide and i kid you not the distance between the the corals and the surface is just like five meters away like five meters so it was fun i got so excited but then i got cold after the dive because as you have seen in the video i did not wear a wetsuit i underestimated the temperature and me i don't like the cold so <laughs> for other divers for them for danny and everyone for hannah and for archer they were okay but i wasn't okay so the second dive that i went to i made sure that i wore a rush guard because hey, my filipino skin just hates the cold just hates the cold I can't stand temperatures below 40 degrees. <laughs> the second dive, I did wear a protective rush guard just to shoo the coldness away, but I was still late. But now I did set up my gear. Thank you, Brian, for setting up my gear the first time. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I was late. I'm sorry. We went to Largahan this time, and it's a dive spot most famous for the bubbles. I don't know how to explain the bubbles, to be honest. Well, Apo Island is a volcanic island. I'm sure of that, I'm sure of that. But the heat coming from the Negros volcano, the Canlon volcano, connects to Apo Island, and somehow the heat just turns into bubbles underwater. Basta in a nutshell, yun yung explanation. I think there's a much scientific explanation that can better explain this. Google na lang, no? Basta, ang cute niya. Ang cute ng mga bubbles. Super cute. When you get to dive in Largahan, you start at like a shallow portion where you can see a bunch of reefs. Again, let me show you the montage first so you can get the vibes. So, cue.
forgot to tell you that at this point sa dive, I just found out after I rewatched the footage na my GoPro was dying. My case broke. I don't know when, but it broke and somehow water got inside my GoPro. So yun. That's the reason why foggy yung quality ng videos. I I swear hindi ganon ka grabe yung visibility. It's actually great. It's just that my GoPro was foggy because water got in to the case because it was well to be honest, it's already broken. I was just hoping for dear life na di talaga sa seat in yung water pero it did. It did. As you may have noticed, I didn't really film as much as I should because. I had fun there. I had so much fun. The bubbles were so much fun. The corals were so much fun. And I was hoping I could spot something that's unique, like a frogfish maybe, because those are really, really difficult to spot. But unfortunately, we did not see a frogfish, just a mock-up, like a coral reef that looks like a frogfish. We did see that magical moment. The, the turtle on top of that reef. So fucking beautiful. So fucking beautiful. Thank you.